welcome to the homework for lesson 39 of grade 1, module 1. Write your name first. What we're going to do in this homework is the same as yesterday's homework. It's the same chart, except now we're going to solve the ones that we didn't solve for lesson 38's homework. We're going to solve these, and we're going to make the subtraction cards for those here and then we have a page to do the number bonds too. So each one of these is going to have two subtraction sentences because there's no doubles here. And that's why it's going to take a whole page to write them out. Now let's see what it says here. There's some more directions down here. Pick an addition fact from the chart. Use the grid to write the two subtraction facts that would have the same number bond. So it might help to make the number bond first for these because then you can look at the number bond and come up with the two subtraction sentences uh, much more easily. And you see that there's a six of two. You can use addition to figure out the total. Put the two and the four together, right? For four plus two, you can figure out that the total is four. It's five, six, right? So you know the total is six. You can make the addition use addition to make the number bond and then you can use the number bond to figure out the two subtraction sentences that's going to be easiest for most for most first graders so we're doing 2 plus 3 2 plus 4 I'm going to do the number bonds first okay, 2 plus 3 2 plus 4, we skip 2 plus 5, and we do 2 plus 6, and then we do 2 plus 7, right? And then 2 plus 8. And I can't have all my pages next to each other because they, everything would just be too small for anyone to see it. 2 plus 8, so we'll solve these right now. 2 and 3. 5, 2 more than 4, that's 5, 6, 2 more than 6, that's 7, 8, 2 more than 7 is 8, 9, and 2 more than 8 is 9, 10. You should recognize those part, parts to 10. So those were all the ones that were 2 plus. Then we have 3 plus 4, 3 plus 6, 3 plus 7. 3 plus 4, 3 plus 6, and 3 plus 7. 7 and 3, that's a way to make 10. 6 and 3, well, 6 is 1 less than 7, so the total is going to be 1 less than 10. That's 9. And 4 and 3, you can count that up. Start at the 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is your total. And then we get to... The last one, 4 plus 6, this one here. That's a way to make 10. 4, 6, 10. Now you can use these to make your related subtraction sentences. So for this one, for instance, you would have 9 minus 7 equals 2, and 9 minus 2 equals 7. Nine minus seven equals two. Nine minus two equals seven. All right, and then we can have. You don't have to draw these circles, but I'm doing this just to make sure I remember which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. Then we have eight, six, and two. Starting with eight, you can take away two and have six left, or you can start with eight. You can take away six and have two left. <clears throat> but with 8, 6, and 2 in subtraction, in any subtraction sentence, the number you have before you subtract is going to be the largest number because when you start taking away, it makes the number smaller. So it's always going to be the biggest one is always going to be the one you have before you subtract. That's not always, as you know, it's not always going to be the first one, first number on the left because sometimes you can write them backwards. And if you want to try that, you can. But you don't have to. 6, 4, and 2. 
So we have 6 minus 4 equals 2, and then the related subtraction one would be 6 minus the other part, 2, equals the other part left, 4. And then we have 5, 3, and 2. 5 minus 3 equals 2, and 5 minus 2 equals 10, 2, and 8. 10 minus 2 equals 8. Sorry, my 2s look like Z's sometimes. And then 10 minus 8 equals 2. Oops. 7, 4, and 3. 7 minus 4 equals 3, and 7 minus 3 equals 4. So this is what we're practicing here is this, the idea in subtraction that if you have two parts, you take one, you're not going to have the other part left. If you take this part, then you'll have the other part left. It's just like in addition, it doesn't matter which number you start with and which number you add, you're going to get the same total. If you break it up into two parts, you're going to have the same two parts. So we just did 9, 6, and 3. 9 minus 6 equals 3. That means 9 minus 3 has to be 6. Ten, seven, and 3, that's a way to make 10. We've got two ways to make 10 left. 10 Subtract 7, it's a difference of 3. 10, that means that if I take 3 away from 10, I'm going to have 7 left. Because that's the other part. Here's two partners to 10, 6 and 4, making 10. Or if I break up the 10, take 6 away, I'm going to have 4 left. And if I take 4 away from 10, I'll have the other part, 6 left. And that's everything you need to have. So you have all your related subtraction sentences and all your number bonds.